Joining me now to discuss this further is former Secretary of Energy under President George W. Bush and Abraham Group Chairman Secretary Spencer Abraham. Um, Secretary, great to see you. I want to talk about um, the costs that we're seeing. We're talking about rising rents. We're talking about um, utility costs going up. We're talking about gas prices going up. Food costs are going higher. American families are really being squeezed right now. And then you've got President Biden coming out and putting his budget out and essentially saying his wish list includes raising taxes. Inflation is already a tax on the American people, is it not? Yes, and so are our regulations, which uh, are part of the reason that some of these energy costs are going up as well. So people are being hit by directly by, by taxes, but also by the cost of regulation. Well, regulations are one thing that President Trump came into office and he tried to turn them around immediately for the oil and gas industry to try to get it going again. And he did. We were producing the most barrels of oil per day that we had in recent history, 13 million barrels a day. And we were energy independent. We were producing more than Russia and more than Saudi Arabia. Now we've reversed course because this administration is saying not only do we want to overregulate the industry, but again, back to this budget, we want to take away some of the tax breaks you were getting on top of it. Yeah, and, and that's that's obviously going to contribute to these prices. But uh, just the fact that we've made ourselves dependent again on imports uh, is, is a huge step in the, in, in the wrong direction. It's a backward step. And it's not just oil. You know, uh, in, in our nuclear power plants around the country, 98 percent of the uranium, which is the fuel for nuclear plants, that makes up, by the way, 20 percent of our power supply, 98 percent is imported, 20 percent from Russia. Wow, um, that is a really staggering statistic, especially when you consider what's happening overseas right now. And I'm also looking at uh, the president's agenda, essentially trying to problem solve, saying that um, Europe could get more natural gas from Qatar. Why can't Europe get more natural gas from us? We certainly have the product here. We just need the infrastructure to be able to ship it out. Exactly, you're exactly right. And, and the administration... Uh, and Congress should get behind a, a real, if they want to talk about infrastructure bills, that's the infrastructure bill that really would make a difference, is to expedite the building of more li liquefied natural gas export terminals and pipelines to get the gas to these terminals. You know, the president, uh, you know, came into office and immediately stopped the Keystone pipeline. Uh, that kind of signaled to the, to the market and to the energy industry uh, sent us in the wrong direction. Yeah, the energy is worthless if you can't move it around. Um, Secretary, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you.